Hello, 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 and welcome to Carnock Does Biffercraft. And here we are at Grand Fercar Station and we're just going to nip through, still building works going on here, to Carlock's Bone Farm. Here we are arriving at the Bone Farm. shut behind me and they did okay so basically here is a skelly spawner as you can see here is the skelly spawner I was standing on top looking down I could stand here for hours watching these fall when they eventually pop obviously Whee. Okay, let's put some sand on. Come on, skelly billies, full, full, full. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a very simple farm. Um, it's probably about the fastest you can get because they just fall to their death. Let's come out of there and have a quick look at what else I have around, other than a bunch of chests still that I haven't sorted out. And something left on, ticking, how annoying. Right, okay, so in the bone farm, which anywhere within this room, you should still be in range of the spawner, so more bones will keep falling. As you might have guessed here, it's a cocoa farm. So you grab some cocoa beans. Turn the machine on to get that annoying clicking. And then just right click and it goes crazy. There is a hopper collecting them, but they bounce out, but half of them end up in your inventory anyway. So we can stop that, turn it off to stop the clicking. You see there's almost a stack in that hopper. It's here, so nothing overly exciting. But yeah, so there's my nice and simple cocoa bean farm that uses bone meal. Bone meal gets loaded in here. Next, we have just a very simple cactus farm. Incredibly inefficient because of the way it's laid out, but it just nice in that corner of the room. So half of the things end up killing, destroying themselves in the cactus below anyway. Then basically you pop in coal into here, put this some down in the hoppers below, and automatically over time green dye appears. So yeah, the idea of this was just a very simple way of getting green dye without any effort or intervention. Right, then over 
here we have the machine I've got Carlox in Sadomatic. I had great fun building this machine. This basically takes any of the two high flowers as you see here. You press the button and watch insanity. It only runs for five seconds approximately at a time and gives you two stacks and four flowers. So let's just pop them in here. I did try running off a lever to start off with. Unfortunately, it's just so insanely fast that you end up with so many. So I timed it for about two stacks, which I thought was quite reasonable for a press of the button. Bone meal goes in at the top. Um, then I've just got chests for some of the dye, of which produced from there. I can't remember what I've got around here now. I remember just some chests while I'm working in here. This is just the item elevator that the bones come up from down the bottom. This is a my latest addition, which is a brand new micro farm. I haven't actually tested it yet, so probably time to do that. It could fail badly. So let's grab one of each. And ready, go, go, go. Oh yes, it does now. Okay, it was just a little bit slow to start. It's um, yeah, they're popping off because of the light, so that should be okay. All the dispensers are firing, I think. Yeah, so that gives me potatoes. This one. We will give carrots. Obviously, it doesn't work every single time for some reason. I guess it pops off before because of the light level, before it gets bone milled sometimes. But other than the annoying click, once it's going, it's, um, yeah, it seems to work. Ooh, poison potato as well. How exciting. It works for wheat as well. Right, turn that all off. Just very, very, very quickly. Always makes me wonder they didn't fire properly when they fill up so quickly. Right, so there's a, a new little farm just in case you need. Bone mill goes on the top, pretty easy. Obviously, most of these machines in here use a lot of bone mill. You might have glanced around here. I've got a tree farm which I've partly filled up. So we will go round the front, grab some oak, and then we hold down right click and wait and wait and wait. And after a while, you've got a lot of wood. then to chop it down you just get your axe in actually the right place dig 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 and it's all relatively quick to chop this much wood up with a efficiency 5 axe and a haste 2 yep yeah, haste 2 beacon efficiency 5 relatively quick. Um, if you've noticed a bunch of pistons here, this is just very simple in the fact that when it fills up the, um, the 
place where you put the saplings down here this piece of dirt you end up with a tree in front of here and half of the pistons for the leaf crushing are often sort of in the way I'll just dig into there so we can see what it looks like without the logs in As you see here, the pistons have got logs on the front and if they're pushed out, it can be a bit easy to accidentally um, take down some of the farm instead of just the wood you want to harvest. Again, yeah, you don't want to chop down this because this is the um, piece that pushes the logs out. These logs on this side, these logs on this side are part of the pistons. So when they're extended, it's just a bit annoying because it's so easy to just charge through. So by adding this here, this takes up one of the blocks. When the machine gets to the end and jams, you retract that, run back to the dirt block and just destroy the bottom piece of, well in this case oak, but it works with birch as well. And then that will cause a block update which will cause the pistons to all fire once and return back to their proper positions. So yeah, nice easy way of farming birch and oak. And it burns through a bit of bone meal. This, as you might have guessed, is just a chest after chest of bones. And I think that is basically everything in this room. Obviously there's a bit of redstone at the very bottom of the base. Um, there is some access around some of these machines just in case you needed to get there. Obviously that's where the wood is. And we can run around on the top of the machine have a look down at our pile of wood if we really wanted to. This will take us back down towards the exit and we can run away from our bone farm. Okay we are now back at Grand Furcar Station. I thought we'd actually do a very little quick tour around here. Um, first of all at this end we've got my base. This bit of carpet we're standing on is actually an ice track, which is where I'm sliding. Then we've got a tunnel to someone's base, and we couldn't remember who it was, so it's to the base with no name. Um, then one of my projects that I'm working on. Then here we have the Rainbow Line, another uh, train track from here. these steps up to the main this main line running through here is from the community hub up to the gold farm these stairs take you up onto the ice track I'll quickly show you so yeah that will go all the way down to the hub and all the way up to the gold farm it's much quicker than a rail car but you will lose, use a lot of food to get there much has been done down the half of this side yet. This is the main train track to go on the gold side if you want to go to the gold farm. Then just pull up a mine cart, jump in it, press the button and off you go without hitting the mine cart first. The other side is very similar but green, designating the hub. So, okay, opposite that, we have station information. We only just built this the other day, it's not quite finished. We have, hello, Mr. Information Golem, we haven't labelled you yet. So this is uh, my attempt at a scale model of the station. So, as you can see, you are here. And we haven't finished building all of these and haven't labelled them all yet. So here we have a guardian farm, a spider farm. Here we have the Wither Express, which is a train trek to the Wither Killing Room above the um, 
Diamond Fortress. There's Furry's base with his shiny diamond block. Up this end we've got that uh, Jordos and Furry's Guardian Farm. And this clear block here is clearly my uh, portal. I, like I said, haven't finished this yet. It's only, only got finished this state the other day. Oh, and just to see an insane use of the sea lanterns, we go up to the top. <laughs> and carrying on down this side in the actual place, we have a guardian farm, which is my guardian farm, which we'll, I'll do a little tour at some point. This is my spider farm, and we'll do a tour of that at some point. This is the train track called the Wither Express, which takes you to the Wither Killing Room above the fortress. And if you can't tell by now, this is down to the portal to Furry's base. a new little build I started yesterday or maybe the day before very recently still under development this is a, another guardian temple this is um, Jordos and Furry's guardian temple um, and I haven't done anything with the floor yet but I sort of built most of this tunnel the other day because I got bored with the netherrack one because their original tunnel was up in the sky and when we built the station everything ended up in the wrong place. Dordo came along and added his pretty roses. And this is the brand new build we've started recently. And then back to my portal. So that's a very quick running tour of Furcar or Grand Furcar Station. Okay, back at my base and just to remind everyone, obviously cake is not a lie. Villagers love it. It's just one of those facts in Minecraft. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so okay. So I'll say goodbye for now and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.